Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take some stuff from my booth that hasn't sold and we're going to do a remake over on it. And then I'm going to do a small little tray and I will show you some easy ways to make some bowl fillers. These are going to be so fun and like I said, they're easy. This basket I brought home from my booth, it had not sold. All my other ones have sold and they also were all lined. So I'm taking it that the people that are buying my lined baskets really like them. So this one wasn't lined, I'm gonna, I just brought it home and I'm gonna just give it a little burlap liner inside. I had redone this originally and used some of my stain to darken it and then I used some decoupage paper and a scrap piece of I don't know what I used burlap maybe uh, on the front to stick it to and put that on there and it's really cute but it does need a little liner to make it even cuter. So I line my baskets by putting a bead of glue up underneath the lip of the basket and then I just slowly put my fabric in on there and just glue it all the way around and then tuck it inside. So the fabric's on the outside while I'm gluing it and then I flip it in and that way it has a nice, um, just a nice hemmed look to the top of it. Now I'm going to finish off the bottom just because I didn't have enough of my burlap to cover it and I'm going to, I just put it on the bottom, this piece of cardboard and uh, traced it out the size of the bottom and now and then I just kind of cleaned it up because I'm I am terrible at cutting but uh, I took this other piece of burlap that I had and I'm gluing it to that piece of cardboard so that I can put that down for a bottom to my basket so I just cut off the excess as much as possible and still get it to cover and then glue it all down and then when I flip it over it should be all covered. Definitely not a very good shape but you can't even tell. The sides were a little bit long and bulky so I'm trimming those down just a little bit and then I can go ahead and glue that piece to the bottom and this basket is finished and hopefully will get sold quickly now. Now this picture frame I turned into a tray. I just love the deep sides and I thought it would be a perfect tray but you also could hang it if you wanted to. And I did this for my booth and it hasn't really moved. Everything that I put in the tray has sold but now I need to get the tray sold. So I decided it was a little too plain without anything on it. It is distressed some but I really wanted to do something else to it. So I had a piece of decoupage paper that I've done on other little trays before so because you get two when you order um, your decoupage paper from Zazzle which is where I got this. And I'll have a link down in the description so that you can look for it if you'd like. But I thought this went beautifully with the burgundy uh, around the sides of the frame. So I'm just going to trim that down a little bit. I painted the background an off-white color. This is from an Oops paint that I got from Lowe's or Home Depot and I just put one little coat on there. It doesn't have to be full coverage. Just light so that the paper doesn't darken up when if you were to put it on a dark backing. The light backing helps make that paper pop a little bit. So I'm just gonna put this down and tuck that in. There's like a little ledge there a little space so I'm just tucking it in there the best that I can and I did half of the paper and then I just take a piece of plastic wrap and my little brayer and I'm just rolling down any of the wrinkles and bubbles that were in, the, in there. Now I'm just going to do the other side of my decoupage paper just a little light layer of 
the Mod Podge and then I can put that side down and do the same. I roll it down and I get the bubbles and wrinkles out. Because there is a little bit of a space there, I wanted to cover that up, so I took a piece of my jute rope and I am just going to take a bead of glue and go up underneath the frame and stick this jute in there. It's sticking out a little bit, but I kind of want it tucked in. I just thought it would be nice if you were to use it as a tray, it would keep stuff from falling through the little crack, or if you wanted to hang it. Uh, same thing, just um, you wouldn't be able to see through the sides of it. You would see just the jute rope. So I just thought it was a nice finishing touch to it, and this is all that I did to this tray. I got these silicone molds off from Amazon. They're little circles. I think they're for soaps uh, or maybe candles. I don't know, but uh, they're bees and they're little circles and you get two in a pack. I think they were $6 and change. I will have a link in the description. And I also got this star silicone mold. Um, I use a lot of stars in my decorating sometimes and sometimes I can't always find rusty stars or sometimes I don't want to make them out of cardboard so I thought if I had clay and a mold just trying to build up my inventory so that I can uh, make them whenever I want and if I have the clay in the mold I can make the star whenever I need to. So what I want to do with these little circle uh, B molds is make like a bowl filler, a primitive bowl filler and um, you just by using some clay, a little bit of paint, and some of my grubby mix. I'll have a link to my grubby mix on how I make that down in the description. If you want to check out that video, it's a quick little video on how I make it and then what, how I use it. So on my candles and things, but I use them on a lot of different items. So uh, I'll leave that link down below. But I just take a big bunch of the clay and put it in there. I use my brayer, as you saw there, to make sure it got right down in the details really well. And when I pulled it out, it got a little deformed and they don't look the greatest. So what I did was I took uh, all the clay that I had left and I put that in those two silicone molds and filled them. And then I'm going to leave them sit in those molds overnight. It actually ended up being more like two nights. And the, of course, the star one here, I can't do that with. If I want to make a bunch of them, I have to take them out. But this one seemed to work fine. I just have to make sure I get all the excess clay and then just pop it out and then go around all the little uh, star points and take any extra clay that's sticking out and just kind of tuck it in and get rid of it so that it's a nice crisp star but this works really well and then just set them aside to dry on a flat surface if you were going to do it on a rounded surface of course you know apply it to that you'd want to stick it on there and then you have to paint it once it's stuck on so that it would stay rounded but most of my things that I use them for are uh, flat surfaces so I took out my Waverly Black paint. You could use whatever you want. This is chalk paint, and I'm giving them both one coat of chalk paint all over. This is just going to be a base color. You'll be able to see some of it through, but we're going to be adding some of the Fusion Metallics paint and also some of the Grubby Mix on top. So it's just going to be a mixture of all, them all to give it a primitive look. Now once that black paint is dry, I go ahead and take my Fusion Mineral Paint. This is the Champagne Gold, and I'm just going to brush it onto my little 
uh, B in the middle to give it some highlight so that you can see it. I don't want to totally cover this up. I want to be able to see the B. And there's some little dot details that go around it that I will highlight with the metallics paint as well. Now you could do this with regular paint. You don't need the metallics paint. I just have it and thought that I would use it. I also have it in the metallic copper, which I use later on in the ones that I do uh, multiples of. So now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and go all around my bowl filler and give it a good coat and that way it'll make it sticky so that my grubby mix can stick to that and it also dries clear so you won't be able to see it afterwards and then any of the black paint underneath will show through where it doesn't stick. I also make sure I get it a little bit on my B area because I want that to be not covered again I want the B to show but just to give it that grubby look. Doing this one as well the same way touch it a little bit in the middle with a little bit of Mod Podge just to make it wet and sticky so that it will stick to the or so the uh, grubby mix will stick to it. There we go and there they are. There's our grubby little bowl fillers. Now I'm going to take my stars. I made up three of these and I'm going to do the same thing. Give them a little bit of black paint as a base and then grubby them up with the grubby mix. And I don't worry if it's not completely covered. Now this is the, uh, these come in the six each on these molds. So like I said, I filled them with the clay, let them sit. I was going to just do it overnight, but I'm glad I let them sit for a couple days. I got really busy uh, because they didn't fully dry. So you still have to be really careful getting them out of those molds because they're still a little soft inside. The bottoms are nice and dry where the air got to them. Um, but as I was pulling them out, I could see that they were deforming again. So I didn't want that to happen. But I really love these molds. See how just malleable they are. Just flip them back the right way and they work really well. So the other thing is when you let these dry like this, they get like a little lip on them, a little edge. So I sanded what I could and then I also took a razor blade. Be very careful if you do this and just trimmed off the little lip that's on there because I did not want it so that I just scraped it like that. But you can, you probably could cut it with scissors or you could just really bear down with your sandpaper and it would work or you could just leave it. That's totally up to you. So I sanded that down really nicely. You could, I'm showing you the layer that's dry there. The lighter color is dry on the bottom. So this top part is really still kind of wet. This little bowl here or dish I got from Goodwill recently for I think it was four dollars and it's a nice wood bowl and I wanted to use this bowl as my uh, kind of display for my bowl fillers. So it had some holes. I don't know if they had handles on it or, or what it had but uh, I'm just taking some of my air dry clay and putting them in the holes to fill them in so when I paint it you won't be able to see them. And this works really good. So now I'm going to take some more black paint and I'm going to give that two coats of black paint uh, on the top and the bottom. But because I put the clay in and I want it to dry a little bit, I am doing the bottom first. Now once the paint's dry, I'm going to flip it back over and sand down some of that clay and try and get a nice smooth finish on that. And then I will start the paint job on this top part. I do two coats on this as well. And I think it comes out really, really nice. Now once those two coats are completely dry, I'm going to go in with a wet rag and I'm going to go along the edges and where I want to distress it and take away some of that paint. 
and then I'm taking it right down to the original bowl color. I didn't mind it. I just didn't want it all that color, uh, but I don't want it all black either. So we're just going to make it look distressed and aged. It just gives it a little bit of history, like it's been used and picked up a lot and banged around. And it just gives it a really cool look, I think. So there we go. Once that's done, that took me a while. I went out. Oh, first I took some sandpaper and went along the edges where I wanted to see a little bit more distressing that I couldn't get with my wet rag. I could have just used sandpaper, but I thought it would look pretty cool using on the clay paint. You can do it really easily using a wet rag. So I seal it with a clear sealer, and this is what I did with it. I hope you enjoyed my projects today. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to try any of these, especially if you want to try the bowl fillers. I think those are so cute. I'll leave the links down in the description for the ones that I used today. I appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. Have a great day.